people of YouTube, welcome. My name's Danielle. If you haven't been here before, I'm a reseller out of Kentucky. So yesterday, me and my husband and my boys all loaded up in the truck and we went north to Ohio to do this pick. I thought it was worth it just because the first time around, we got everything for $950 and we've been killing it on that stuff. So, so we bought a ton of records in this storage unit, you guys. I was like, oh my gosh, there's records. I'm thinking there's gonna be like a bunch of sealed records. Well, guess how many sealed? three yeah we got George Benson he commands about $20 sealed this really cool artwork um, Bob Seger vinyl LP there brings about 75 and the Commodores who didn't love the Commodores um, this one brings only about $10 so not too bad there all right, because this could take forever and there's a lot of records here, I just pulled out a stack that I'm going to show you. And this kind of is a representation of what kind of records are here. In addition to what you see here, there are country and maybe like truck driving um, vinyls. I guess you'd say that. We have Eric Clapton. Slow hand Eric Clapton. That was one of my favorites. It's got Wonderful Tonight on it. I love that song. Best of the Bee Gees. Wild Cherry, Only the Wild Survive, Some Girls, The Rolling Stones. That was a really cool album because if you pull the inner sleeve out, pull the record sleeve out, then the faces disappear on the on the haircuts. So that was kind of cool. Elton John. And the good thing about these records, 38 Special. Um, I had to look this up because I was like, I know that that's a Van Zant guy. Um, so ended up that that is a Van Zant uh, family member, and he they did the 38 special, and apparently there were like 12 or 13 people who rotated through that band. So, um, but the cool thing about these records is they do have plastic on most of the record, just that they've been sliced open there on the side. And I know a lot of a lot of people try to do that, but sometimes the sleeves don't survive. And we got Van Halen there, and. Uh, David Lee Roth doing the jump. No, I don't know what records do if they aren't sealed anymore. So now this was a really cool vice, um, probably dating back to the 60s, I think. My husband looked that up and I think he said it could bring possibly like 40 bucks, 40 to 50 bucks. This vintage juicer here could bring up to about a hundred bucks and it's very, very clean. It was a little dusty, but we did clean it off. It's called the Champion, World's Finest Juicer of the 1960s. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna sit my camera down now and show you guys these amazing jackets that were in the storage unit. Okay, first up we have this Ford jacket. Now, these are all gonna be like men's small to medium, but embroidered patch, embroidered front patch. Somebody's gonna wanna Somebody's gonna want their chance at this, I think. This is Schaefer. I don't even, I'm not gonna attempt that. I guess it's a, this is a racing jacket of some sort. It's very lightweight. Feels like nylon maybe. It's got, what's really cool about it, it's got the three stripes to it. Some racing fan out there might want that. And you guys check this out. This is a Porsche racing jacket. Um, again, this feels really thin and like a nylon kind of fabric, but again, we have the Porsche embroidered patch. Um, it's just super cool with the stripes on it. Yeah, that one I would say is like a large. And that's by Anton Racing Apparel is the maker of that. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. I, we, I saw this and I'm going, no way, but way, it was in there. 1979 Indy 500 race car jacket, Mustang. I just, I'm in love with this thing. And I know the buyers, whoever the buyer ends up being is going to be in love with it too. Look at the zipper even has the Mustang horse for a zipper. This is embroidered right here. Very nice. This is all like a satin, satin kind of feel jacket. This is thick, it's lined. 
So this is really, really nice. And we have the same version of that jacket, a lighter weight version for maybe like a summer night instead of like a chilly night. Has, once again, this one has the Mustang down the sleeve. This is an embroidered patch. This is amazing, you guys. This, just to see this in person is really, really neat. It's got two things going for it. Indy 500 and Mustang and vintage clothing. So you could say three things. So now this is a little bit different and odd. This is all, it, it feels like wool, but it, I think it's felt. It's like a really heavy felt material. And here's the back. You have the elbow patches there, the red and the yellow going on. I think that's just really, really unique for one thing. It also looks like it, like the brand that says exclusive LA modes made in West Germany. It looks like it's the inspiration for like Michael Jackson's jackets or something. So this was probably like a 60s version or something. And I don't know, it just reminds me of Michael Jackson for some silly reason. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Check this out. This is a racing, racing shirt. This was made in Italy. Point of Italy. Now that price says 250 bucks. But obviously that was probably like a boutique shop or something. This screams 90s. Uh, late 80s, early 90s. Rodeo Drive, Beverly Hills. Alright, so that is the vintage jackets and things that I wanted to show you. So let's move on in here. What's that say? Caviar bath soak. That does smell amazing. I did open that one up and smell it. A lot of the little things are filled to the top Gucci see I don't buy any of this kind of stuff I don't buy I don't use my I don't waste my money on this kind of stuff but guess what I'll sell it <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana all of this obviously needs really really good cleaning I don't remember the comp on that but I know it's going to do really well so we're missing a piece out of this Prada set, but we're going to sell it just like it is and hope for the best. These are all, this is a stack of white diamonds. They're all complete, I believe, maybe except for one or two. We're missing a little tiny, little tiny bottle. And I'll show you. All the sets basically look about like that. I thought that these were so cute. These little train, they're actually made out of little pieces of like tin metal. Yeah, 10 locomotive is what they're called. We got these lovely doves. Aren't they so neat? They're made out of metal. I'm not even sure what they feel like. I don't know if it's aluminum or, or what they are. They feel like aluminum because they're so light. But some of them have their wings more open than others. But I think they all maybe came from like the same, the same maker for sure. The Kodak carousel along with five trays of slides and then there was another box of loose slides somewhere else in this basement but I love looking at people's old photographs and slides I don't know why I love just looking at the way people used to live and that really brings me like a lot of joy to do that so that's gonna be really fun whenever we look through those we held a few of them like up to the light and there were like a lot of cars car shows and things back from the 60s so that's going to be really cool um especially if i could find a buyer for some of those um you know car slides that'll be neat um <clears throat> i'm gonna go right into these these you guys if you don't know about these these are called yadro and they actually feel like a like a ceramic but they're a very high-end, if you've never looked that name up, dial it into eBay there and look at the sold comps. Um, so then we found this uh, typewriter too. And I found one similar to it. I think this is going to bring anywhere from like $50 to $100. Somebody had a live chat the other night and then a few, um, few YouTubers and eBayers were like having a discussion about plush and I, I typed in there I need to get my plush education well I think it has come this girl was really cute 
Boyd's Bears. That was there were several Boyd's Bears in here. This little jacket has actual Cabbage Patch on the inside of it. I thought that was adorable. She actually like she actually came with that coat apparently, or another doll did. Um, this really amazing Folk Manus puppet. Look at his head moving. You can put your hand up in there, move his head all the way around just like a re uh, real owl. And this is a this is actually a Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers dog. Check him out. He's got a little doggy jacket and a doggy leash and everything. There's just so many old... These things have been probably in, in storage or just sitting in someone's house since the 80s and 90s, I'd imagine. This dog, for instance, came from Macy's. An FAO Schwartz dog. He's adorable. Down in here somewhere. Let me try to pull her up out of here. Ooh. She's a Peruvian doll, I guess, is what we read. Yeah, this actually has the tags on it and says it says it was $39 originally. Vintage Russ collection dolls or bears, I mean. Oh, what's this? Some of them are so heavy, too, in the butt. I don't know what that means. This is a Boyd's Bear, and that's apparently... You can stick your hand in it. That's a puppet. So, yeah, I've got a lot to learn about... I've got a lot to learn about Plush this week. This is Kennel Club member. He's cute. Now, a lot of that stuff needs... Uh, maybe either vacuumed or dusted off. I'll have to try to find a way to, to clean Plush. Um... Maybe see if somebody that I'm subscribed to, maybe Cajun Reseller, I don't know. I don't know if anybody out there has a how to clean plushes, but I'll be looking. So this and this is full of, well, and I've got a couple other things over here too. These are also clothes. Now, all of these clothes are in the packages. So the value of what's in here is just to be determined. You know, there are different things in here from from about the 90s, I think, and then, and then they just go back to the 80s. This was a really neat, I'll try to pull that out of here. This is a really cool jumpsuit from the 80s. Check that out. Isn't that neat? Brand new. Now I've been laid on my floor, but luckily I just vacuumed it a few minutes ago. Um, let's see what else we have in here. I had some, there's just different name brands like Bloomingdale's and Neiman Marcus and uh, Brooks Brothers and it's just, it goes on and on and on. Must have started um, online shopping back as soon as online shopping began because this person obviously must have had like a buying addiction. This is all full of brand new belts. These are... I thought these were really neat. These are cuffs that you wear on your wrist. I guess you could wear them like on the top of a boot too. On your ankle. Uh, we got lucky and found a couple of... A couple of designer Brooks Brothers. But like a... Scarf. Thank you. Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers on that. Those two. And look at what we found. We found some Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton scarf there. I guess you'll, this one is two-sided. So it actually doesn't have the LV. Where's the tag? Hmm. Oh, there you are, tag. Louis Vuitton Paris, made in Italy. And then that's full of scarves as well. So at least we found a couple designer designer scarves in there. This bag is full of things like this. Brand new in the package, Vanity Fair. Um, a few pair are loose, but they're new with tags. Vanity Fair again. Yeah, there's some loose ones. 
that were new, but I mean, you can see this bag. This is a pretty good size shopping bag and that's all new with tags underwear. Um, same, I think, with this. Yes, these are all Vanity Fair nude color underwear that are all brand new. And these are all brawls that are brand new. Oh, it might be under, no, that's, yeah. This underwear and brawl match, and I think this was, I don't remember what brand it was. Are you the one Victoria's Secret brawl that I could not believe was 20 years old. Um, let's see, Victoria's Secret. Never been out of the package. Uh, May 17th of 2001. So, yeah, 20 year old brawl. How is that possible? <laughs> I remember when these things were, you know, I remember 2001, just like it was yesterday. These are all brand new brawls, you guys. There's another one of the Victoria's Secrets from 01. A lot of pantyhose, all new in the package, never been taken out. Most of them look like the two that are there on the top. These are all old purses. They mostly, an accessory, there's a few accessories in there. Most of them are these clutch bags. This person must have had a fascination with clutch bags, which that one's kind of cute. So. All right, so we're moving into Christmas things. These are Kugel ornaments. Kugel's ornaments, these heart ornaments are gonna bring anywhere from 50 to $100. Um, they're marked at the top as well, Kugel. And yeah, that one's marked at the top too. These are really heavy glass ornaments. And some of them, if you look up Kugel and eBay right now and go to highest comp, you'll be surprised at what some of the some of the numbers are. I have no idea about prices on these yet. These are all hand-blown Christmas ornaments or Christmas balls, I guess you'd say. So cute. Some of them, some of them have, you can see where they have the uh, paint in them. They're really, really neat. I mean, the closest thing that I know to this kind of glass is like a Murano glass. This is what these remind me of, but they're, they're a hand-blown, heavy-duty Christmas ornament, and I just think they're gorgeous. This one's, a, this one's really different than the others, but yeah, I just, I really love them. Look at that one. Yeah, those, these are going to eBay, I believe, so... Okay, so earlier I had came over to this box and then I just left, I think. But I want to come back to it because there are a couple vintage items in here. This is um, Abercrombie and Fitch, but these are these are made in Hong Kong. So I'm estimating that these are probably from the 80s, I would say. And there's two of those. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch on both of the... I don't know if you can see that tag, but made in Hong Kong on both of those tags. So that tells me that they're most likely from the 80s. This was a really neat vintage, really cool vintage halter that was in this box. And then this was a really cool halter in there as well. Look at that. So darn cute. It's full of new and vintage clothing. I don't want to spend too much time on them, but I do want to show you the most expensive ones that were in this box. And to me, they're not the most attractive looking sweaters, but they command a lot of money. So Peruvian Connection is the name of this. Peruvian Connection, made in Peru. Um, you might think, oh, that looks like wool, but they're made of alpaca and cotton. So they're actually really, really soft. Please dial that into eBay, Peruvian Connection, and go to highest. I didn't know, like if we had to sort through these clothes, um, we probably wouldn't have taken these because they didn't look that appealing. But what we did, there were, there were garbage bags full. Um, so many items were in there that had, you know, plastic on them, like still new in the packages and things. And we were like, let's just take it all, you know. 
So we did, we took them all. And this one's also a Peruvian connection. It's a little sweater, a little button up sweater. There's another one and another. So that's four Peruvian connection right now. There's a Peruvian connection sweater. Still has the tags on it and everything. I mean, a lot of these do. This, I thought this was really neat. This was a longer sweater, but it was open. And, uh, you know, like a three-quarter length sweater that goes down, like, to your knees, I guess you'd say. This one's made of baby alpaca and cotton and wool. And here were a couple vintage pieces. I thought that was really cool. And this little blemish there. I think someone could work on trying to get it out. I just love the collars on these old shirts. They're so cool. If I were in that era, I would have wore those. I would think. I don't know. Hammered aluminum cookware. Things I have in here in the, over in the dark that I wanted to show you guys. Gone with the Wind VHS set. And then this one, I wanted to hold it up to the light. Ooh, it's still dripping where I washed it. You can see how blue and colorful that is. I'm going to sit these down here because I don't want anything to be around these Yadro. It's really neat, you guys. This is hook and latch. Um, a hook and latch rug. And it's obviously has Ford on it. Isn't that really neat? Somebody, somebody made that. Oh, yeah. These are the original boots to this box. So, Polo Ralph Lauren rubber boots. Out of six of the of these uh, Gasso Hall Ethol, it's supposed to. I guess it's supposed to look like your tank. Full, cool. kind of empty. Really neat. So we got six of those. And I'll go into the shoes. Um, if you're on my Instagram, you'll see that we found real, one really cool pair of Nike shoes yesterday. And I have those here. And I guess I'll start with those. New in the box. They look like they've never been worn. From 1980, we determined after doing a little bit of research last night. Yeah, so... Actually, another YouTuber, I had Nike on the brain because another YouTuber, I was watching his channel, and he was at this garage sale, and there was an empty Nike box. I don't remember if it had a lid or not, but it had some, like, little things inside of it. And whenever he picked the, he actually picked the box up and looked at the little items inside, and I had seen the swoosh on the side of the box, and I was like, I wonder why he didn't buy that empty box just for the empty box like just to sell the empty Nike box but so I had that on the brain anyway and when we got to the storage unit and then I seen the orange box I was like oh my gosh I said those are old Nikes because that is a little box and they don't make them like that anymore so you can imagine how excited I was and we listed those last night actually on my eBay so so yeah we just have some oddly i don't know just like odd and different high heel shoes a lot of these are fredericks of hollywood a lot of them are marked that they're made in italy um they're just different shoes now i remember my mom having something like something like these probably not that fancy and high heeled but they're something to that effect and look at those aren't those just kind of strange I'll show you the front of those the side those are the same way. They have like a really weird heel. And speaking of weird heels, these are quite different themselves. These are like old jelly shoes with a lace inlay inside of them. I thought that was really cute, the old witch. Wait, she might bring about, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks. And I was excited to find a Mr. Christmas. Um, I've never seen the bandstand bears. But we looked them up and they will do well. So we've got a male and female uh, pheasant set here. I guess you put these on your mantle or wherever you have room for them. These suckers are heavy too. Oh my gosh. 
So what we looked up said that they are silver plate and they actually look like they bring good money too. Now we brought these, uh, we bought these fry boots and thought that they were going to be really good. But apparently the ones that are made in Mexico for some reason don't do as well as the ones made in the U.S. So I don't know. We'll list them anyway and see what they bring. And we have a box of socks. Box of brand new socks. So that's pretty cool. There were these Tommy Hilfiger socks. Crazy socks. Um, like Dickie socks. Gold toe. These I'm probably going to keep for myself. I thought these were so adorable. Look at those. Look how pretty. And they've even got little skid. These are going to be for me too. Look how cute those are. All new with tags. These are actually old. These are Seneca Red Jacket. Union Made USA. These are alpaca socks. Hmm. Now this is kind of the gross thing for me because I am an anti-cigarette person. I just I grew up in a house with smokers and I've just never took it up and never liked it. And so when my husband seen these yesterday, he doesn't smoke either, but he was like, I bet there could be value in these old cigarettes. Um and of course I wanted to be like, Bleh. I don't wanna I don't wanna buy any cigarettes, but we did, and it even pains me a little bit to film this right now and show you <laughs> because I hate them that bad. Like, they're just, they make me kind of ill. I don't know why that sprinkler is in there. But yeah, just different, different old boxes of cigarettes. And I don't know if you can sell cigarettes on eBay, but I guess we will find out. These, oh my gosh, what in the world? This says Jasmine Perfumed Cigarettes, Gold Tipped, United Kingdom. I don't even want to open the box Ooh. to see what it says. Nat Sherman. Would you guys have bought the old cigarettes or would you have left them there in the storage unit? <clears throat> Let me know in the comments. And for people who are not car people, like I'm not a car person, but this is an off of an old car called MG, and this is a hubcap. Pretty cool. It does have this little MG plate on it. And here we have an MG blanket, and it looks like a it's a felt blanket, I guess, or fleece blanket. I'm gonna try to set the set that up here while I try to take it out. It says MG Safety First Pat and Joe. I don't know if you guys can see that. MG S Pat and Joe. And then it says Safety First. No, Safety Fast. Farabo. Farabit. What does that say? Strathmore of Scotland nice wool feel or nice wool blanket I'm, I'm assuming that this is kind of a large scale but this is for a train display and this was the like I said the only toy that we bought this time around look how cool these skates are you guys Chicago urethane the wheels say and look how neat the box is look at those colors aren't they awesome I just love the box Wheels are really neat. Um, that's apparently an accessory that goes with this because it's not in the box. So you guys, that wraps up everything we found at the storage unit this time. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please hit that bell button also to be notified the next time I put a video out. Thanks for watching guys.